the the window, top, like sweltering baked. heat. We got baked. Just got bodied by not, the heat. Like it was bad. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go over to the player cam, and I will go and edit that stuff when I can find the. Uh, there yeah, there it is. is. So we got GGA. Oh, that's what Big Mac looks like. I've never actually seen it. I've only heard of it, Sheik. As, as, ah, people, as people tend to. Does GJ Demitis fit? I don't think it does. And then Sage and Big Mac. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Demitis staring at the camera. It's like an awkward <laughs> smile on his fans. Demitis has so many fans. He does. He, this, this dude is I, I don't. I sadly wasn't able to watch much of MLG Columbus. Or MLG Columbus. Wow, I'm dating myself. Uh, MLG Louisiana, New Orleans. But I hear that Demitis did, and both J and JJ Rockets, they both did work in teams together. Absolutely. And they both I did phenomenal them. in uh, doubles, from what I hear. Yeah. It makes me really want to their team, their watch team the VODs, very, but they don't exist, sadly. Their team, their team was very decent. Like, they had to play one of the better teams. I think they played Zero Nairo and, like, almost took a game, I think. Really? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, I believe, I, believe I, hold, I heard both of them did really good in their uh, 2v2 run. Or not 2v2, the 1v1 runs. Yeah. Both made top 32, so good job. Uh, good to them, yeah. Representing very, the Midwest. Yeah, very legitimate uh, at MLG. All right, and we starting out on Town and City. Wow. Oh, oh never mind, it is a button check. We check those. I was going to say, like, oh, they're playing super campy for, <laughs> for doubles. All right, we'll switch to the player. Com we'll commentator cam. Yeah. No, never mind. I don't think so. I can't tell. <laughs> nah, we'll just, we'll just go back to Smash. Yeah. All right, so let's just talk about, let's just talk about the event and... Michigan Navy. Uh, Michigan came in pretty deep for this event, if you guys do we know. We have like 12 people here. 12 people, we that's pretty good. We have an unnecessarily large amount of people at this point. Yeah, but what I like about this E2C is that the diversity in uh, what Midwest states came out is really nice. Yeah. Michigan, Illinois, uh, I believe Wisconsin for sure, St. Louis. Yep. Um, I don't know. If, I know for a fact there's no Ohio player ski boots is in here. He's the only driver. Oh, yeah. What else? Indiana. I don't know if there's an, any Indiana player, sadly. Mm -hmm. And also, we have, we are getting invaded by SoCal the one time we. Uh, yeah, that show was up. cool. I was really mad I couldn't was, go to that it one. It was cool, but I also had to fight Larry Larry in the pool. So, <laughs> I mean, it was cool up until that point. See, I really, <laughs> I really wanted to go to that one because I really want to see Void again. Uh, Void, Void is awesome. Dude. Yeah. Well, I when I was out that. in Cali, I was hanging out. Like Void was probably like one of the people I was always hanging out with. The dude is real, a really cool guy. And cool I really guy, wanted to cool see him player, again. Too. I like his play style. <laughs> I'm glad he's sticking around the States for a little bit longer than going back to Hawaii. So, oh, when is he leaving? I don't know. Uh, I know he was a uh, borderline designed to stay at Skies. Uh-huh. So that could be a thing. That'd be really cool, actually. Yeah. That'd probably be the best place you could get his experience. All right, but it looks like the button check is over, oh, and we're going to be getting into it hopefully very soon. Yep. Checking out those players, but then again, you have from left to right, you got Demitis, you got JJ Rockets, you got Sage, and you got Big Mac. Right. Big Mac is also very much on the come up right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, last E2C, definitely being one of the tournaments where he definitely broke out as one of Chicago's top players, defeating low one in pools uh, in a very, very convinced, like, not, I wouldn't say convincing, but a very decisive yep. three, like, three-game set. I remember watching that on stream when I was holding my little, like, viewing party, and I thought it was great. I mean, I one don't want Honestly, one of my favorite sets of the tournament. Oh, really? I don't, I don't want to John for the man, but I think, like, Lowen legitimately has a Sheik problem at this point. Yes, he does. He uh, no, no, it, it's apparent. It's like, I mean, I think he lost to only Sheiks at, at, at the last E2C. Yep. Like, I think he literally only lost to Sheiks. <laughs> All right, and they're hoving over to Starterville. Now the bad up. versus the best character in the game. You need to fix. Oh, something. maybe they're striking now. Now they, they are the rock striking. Scissors. Well, they're doing the whole like traditional like hover the cursor over the stage. No, of traditional is you go to the actual random stage select. Oh screen. my god, you're right. You're right. Oh my god, <laughs> that's never, what we did. That, no one's ever done that. Uh, All right, maybe. they're starting out on FD. Interesting choice. I think this uh, this stage actually mutually benefits both teams. Yeah. Uh, Rosalina likes spaces, the space, so she can set up her fortress, uh -huh. and when she has space, she can easily set up needles, and then she can just make the gap close easily with a uh, bouncing fish. Right. But it's pretty chaotic right now, but the red team is holding the lead right now. Demitis yes. being thrown like a, a punching bag right now. Yeah, taking too, take too, take too much damage. Yeah. And they're still not safe on shield, even after the patch. 
<laughs> so much cooldown if you land with it. Oh if you God. don't like, if you don't get the correct spacing, it is just so if much. You get, I mean, lag. I, I remember watching Zero play uh, play Falcon, and he would just like perfectly space down air on shield and make it like look as safe as possible. Of course, what what like, can't that man perfectly that's, space? That's, that's I was like, I was looking like he would cross up and like almost get a frame cancel. I'm like, that's absurd. Stop doing that. Yep. And right now, uh, Demitis is the one carrying the the most percent. Yep. But with that percent, you're giving Falcon a much easier time getting his kills. He's, also, he's also Falcon, and he's against like Rosa Sheik. I'm not yeah. sure he needs to worry about dying anytime, really anytime soon. Great F smash from Banana. JJ loves that stuff, and up smash taking and the stock Sage from Rosa. takes and they F oh, smash green team. From, yeah, yeah, green team. What who were looking like they were down. End up taking the first, the draw, the bl first blood, and the immediate second kill. Yeah, and now they need to, uh, and now they need, uh, red team really needs to get these stocks off. I mean, it might be a little easy on Diddy, like supposedly, but yeah. I mean, I mean, Falcon, Falcon, if he is a little overzealous off stage, he's very susceptible to Sheik, uh, yeah. Ledge Hogs, and Rosalina Edge Pressure. Yep. So. Falcon is, I think Falcon is the one they need to focus taking the first stock off because you need to get that rage. That rage needs to leave. And don't worry about Diddy because really the only thing Diddy can do to potentially save his teammate is do a runoff Nair. Uh -huh. And that's really unsafe because Nair is a pretty uh, long lasting yeah, If you move. fast fall that, you might just die. Like, you might just die. But yeah, they really need to kill Falcon because otherwise they're going to get hit by a Randy side B and they're going to die at this percent. They will die yep. at this percent from the side nice B. Nice F smash out of shield by Sage to end JJ Rocket's stock. Finally. And Demitis oh my God. hanging on. The man is living on a prayer right now, 159%. This is the most stock taking Falcon I've ever seen. Yep. And just look at that. Look at uh, Big Mac's percent. 104 oh on his God. second stock. I was going he, to is he is actually susceptible to death from both an F smash by the green team and possibly yeah. a Raptor Yes, boost. absolutely. You called it right there. Uh, Getting, it, uh, getting a F smash on 100 across the stage, so they're just going to take it. Falcon's got stump, something in his elbow. Yes, he's got something in his knee. He's got, he's got something in his knee and something Back in his up. elbow. Don't know if that's going to take it. I think he should have pummeled. He should have pummeled a two or three, two or, two or five more percent that would have taken the stock. Yep, a lot of chaos over there right on the ledge with oh, uh, Luma man. sitting there. And Midas' recovery is so smart. Not getting hit by that upbeat. Not today. Yeah, that's something I really do give a lot of credit to to Midas. Mm -hmm. He's very... He, he, he is a little risky on stage, but when it comes to being off stage and being pressured off stage, the man is so precise. He does like he knows where Falcon's limits are, uh -huh. and he's not afraid to uh, kind of like be more safe. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, he don't. He just knows. Oh man! Beautiful stuff by Big Mac right there, but Falcon yeah, gonna drop the ledge guard. You can't be doing that. Especially not even Sheik. teams. Yeah. Especially a Sheik. Yeah, like you're Sheik. You have to like. And what like Big Mac? He needs to get. He needs to get one of these kills Ooh, right now because that, like weak bear to grab was so hot. But like I was thinking about Big Mac, 170. percent He is going to die from a Falcon up throw. He's gonna die from a potential Diddy back throw. He's gonna he die needs to get things. one of these kills while he has this much rage, so it looks like he actually oh did something God. with Literally, it. Literally Falcon up be across the stage, but he just died too. Raptor boost. That, that, that Raptor boost. No, it was Uppy. It was Uppy. The, the Falcon dive. Falcon, yeah, Falcon dive. dive. Uh, back throw, definitely going to kill a little Very bit. Very nice. And, yeah. Very nice edge hog by Big Mac with a nice uh, bouncing fish to intercept the monkey flip. Yeah. And now Big Mac is uh, all by himself. Yep. This isn't impossible, but... I mean, seeing as Demitis is recovering like a god. Uh, yeah, that was a. Little, I, I I don't want to just discredit JJ right there, but that was a really fluffed at charge. He just kind of stood on the stage. I waited. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my gosh, god, the god, the stool, stool though. Stool. Wow. Demitis off stage. Not even not even for the reasons you think, but he got it. That's yeah, Team those. GGA taking it up 1-0, taking game one of this set. Team and winner G here advances to fight, I believe, Knight and Dan. Mm -hmm. If I'm almost correct. Yo, GGA, GGA? Yep. Oh my god, that's a... Uh, hmm, I don't know about that scene. Okay. I don't know. Actually, when you look at it, though, it makes sense. Because Green Bee's both got he's definitely weaker than both of these teams. You're right. I think that I think Greenbeer Scotty could have just been put as the third seed, so you could have different. Uh, you would have slightly arguably, different results. Arguably, I don't know. I actually but, I actually do agree with it. But I agree with it on paper, yes. All right, but getting into game two, I like this counter pick. I think Falcon does not benefit from a triangle platform layout as much, especially against characters like Sheik and Rosa, because yeah. Falcon is just juggle bait. Uh -huh. So what this match is going to really rely on is. Uh, could you JJ Rock, it's going to rely on JJ Rockets being there for Demitis in those juggle situations. Yeah, can you keep your opponents in the air? Asks, yep. asks uh, Red Team, basically. This ledge guard? My god. He didn't want to go down there because of Luma. Wow, De Demitis just keeping her off stage. Big Mac going down deep. Oh my Miss god, we the tech those! Gotta one tech one those. Of, like the simplest oh, event immediately. Goodness, like, what a nice Falcon, uh, nice wow, Falcon forward smash there. so strong. And this is exactly what we were talking about, where 
these teams need to not fluff their ledge guards. Uh -huh. And the green team saying, hey, wow. we're Demitis. not fluffing our ledge guards. Demitis, Demitis just will randomly down me. And, like, I I mean, you can almost respect it just because, like, yep. not, you don't even constantly do it. Like, it's just like a mix-up for him. Oh, oh, the nice knee. He got the knee. There's a pop-off from that knee. They didn't even take a stock, and there's still a pop-off from it. Okay, good stuff from Sage, making his recovery safe by hitting the minus out of the way. Yep, good gentleman too, getting uh, Sage off stage. That's what they really need to focus on. Keeping Rosalina off stage is almost the optimal place. Good uppies, good, good, great stuff from Big Mac. Yep, getting that stock. Big Mac in um, a little overzealous there with that yeah. bouncing fish. He knows JJ is going to recover high with the monkey flip kick because there's no reason for Diddy Kong to ever recover that low versus Sheik. Yep. Oh my God, the down smash! How did that not hit? How did that not hit a? Uh, not hit the De Midas. I thought he was in the hitbox, but oh. apparently not. No, he's don't fluff that oh, edge guard. Wow. Big yeah, Mac, please. Oh. Very smart. Very guy. He missed takes a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. His stock is his stock survives. <coughs> Sadly, a missed opportunity there by I just realized, uh, like, they have, Big they Mac. They have five stocks. Like yeah. they are destroying this. This is what I was saying. Where this, what this match right here comes down to is how well is JJ Rockets going to be covering Demitis? And I say he's pretty, doing a pretty damn good job about he's, it right he's now. Doing a great job. Seventy-seven percent on his first stock. Both members of the red team are down to their final stock. Yeah. JJ Rockets, keep doing what you're doing, and, and you'll progress much further in this tournament here. Oh man, they might even beat like one of the best Chicago teams, honestly. Like, yep. With the, with the synergy they're showing together yeah. right now, like it's definitely showing that they had a like Team GGA is not is Whoa. definitely like a group to be so like, feared with. The option coverage from JJ there. Oh, oh and that's the Demitis with the fluff. Demitis, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Look at JJ still sitting at eighty five percent on his first stock. He's saying, "Yo, don't worry, I got you. Yeah. I got two more stocks for you." Yeah. JJ did this awesome thing off stage where like he down there, he tried to down there Rosa, and then he when he whiffed, he fast felt and then immediately upbeat and to get like to to be able to hit Rosa with the upbeat hitbox to continue the edge guard. Did, so you, cool. did you see how he ended Sage's stock? Yeah. He was yeah. down tilt pressuring him till the shield hat was like there, uh -huh. like basically at a bare minimum, yeah. and then he just forward smashed him because it was going to cover the roll option of how far he had uh, pressured him away. Yeah, and he got the kill for it. It was actually a really nice setup, very Zenodo reminiscent. Actually, yes, because Zenodo is one of those down tilt experts. <laughs> He loves it. We call we call them experts when you want to call them spammers. <laughs> <laughs> just ask that, just ask the Noto. He won't even be mad at that. All right, but Big Mac, your goal here, and JJ. Stock. Oh wow, that still was lightning. I don't. All right, I feel oh like in uh, JJ's mind, he's saying I don't want to lose the stock, and in uh, Big Mac's mind, he's like I gotta end this stock. Right. Same. He's like I don't want to get four stocked. Cool. Very nice bounce the edge. Dodge. Hey, look at that. He didn't. He has, JJ Rocket still hasn't died yet. <laughs> JJ Rockets has literally not he, died. Demitis is just going in trying to do something. JJ Rockets, JJ Rockets he's still living. This is still conceivable just because big. No, and that's going to end kidding. it. And that is a 2 0 win by Demitis and solid, JJ Rocket. Solid game for very, very solid play here by the green team. Birds up, boys. I don't know if for any of you guys in the chat, please uh, give me some birds up. You can't see us birds upping, but it's fine. It just changed the camera. You can birds up. <coughs> all right. But all right, guys. I'm Paul Sori. This is Viev. And we're here at EQC19. Thank you for all of you guys viewing this from home. Sad you guys can't be here. Venue's nice. I like this setup, actually, from where, like, we are in terms of distance to the players. Yes. It's nice. It's weird that I can't see the players. Like, usually, I'm in, when I'm in a commentator's desk, like, I have a viewing player of the players themselves. But seeing as we have a very good uh, player cam, and like, we have a good time for us as well, like, it doesn't matter. Like, we yeah. see everything we need to. It's good stuff. Really nice stuff here. And we're already in top five of uh, winner side. Yep. Doubles uh, loser back is actually progressing pretty well. Knight and uh, Dan versus JJ and Midas. Oh, it's 